I'm Jim Johnson. In this video, I'm going to make the Esmeralda 500 racing bro. And uh, so that's like a, a pioneer broom, a colonist broom, uh, a primitive broom. So here's the handle that I have prepared already. It's an oak sapling. And the only thing beyond having the bark stripped off of it and a little dome carved into the top is I have a, uh, a small nail toward the end for the cord to anchor to. And since it's a primitive broom, I won't be using proper broom corn like this. And we'll be using uh, sage grass, also commonly known as broom sage. Okay, I'm going to start with an overhand loop around my broomstick above, just above the nail head that I left sticking up to anchor this to. And I'm going to make a few passes around that on each side, on this side and this side of the uh, nail head to get it started. I've prepared all of this broom sedge into five or six different bundles and I'm going to start with the base of the bundles on top of the, or underneath, underneath the cord. I'm going to put plenty on here to have plenty of room to work with. So as you can, if you can see the end of the broom stick here and the end of the straw is up about here. So I'm going to wrap just a little bit and grab another another one of these bundles. So I'm moving them up to about the same length up the broom stick. So I'm going to wrap several times here. And I want a I want a wide parallel band to start this process off. I've almost got enough to start. Okay, that's wide enough to start. So, I'm going to keep it tight and I'm going to advance about three quarters of an inch toward the top of the broom straw. And I'm going to do that in the same place each time by just coming over like this a little bit.
and then putting another band in this spot about the same thickness about the same width as this first band I'm trying to keep this tight as I go I give it a firm tug occasionally I hold, hold the cord with my thumb if I release the tension with my feet okay so that's wide enough here so I'm back to the same point where that I advance this way with the thread I mean with the cord so I'm going to try to start at the same point and advance the cord about an again about three quarters of an inch and start another band I'm going to advance one more time about three quarters of an inch and this will be the last band that I tie and I'm going to do so at this point I'm going to do something a little different I'm going to take my loop with a knot tied in the end of it and I'm going to put it under this band So my loop is under this last band that I'm wrapping right now. Okay, so that's wide enough. So now I'm gonna, I'm holding I'm holding the uh, cord under my thumb and I'm going to cut this off and leave plenty of plenty of uh, extra cord and I'm going to run the end of this cord through the loop okay so now I'm going to get the other end of the loop on the other side of the band and I'm going to pull it through like this. That trap, the cord underneath that last band, so I'm going to wrap it around around my scissors to make a handle and I'm going to pull that tight. Okay, and then I'll just trim it off here. Okay, so that's got that's got the broom straw attached to the handle, and it's a big hairy mess. <laughs> and when I finish, it'll still be a big hairy mess because it's a witch's broom. Okay, but. Hopefully it'll have some character and be interested looking and be functional. Okay, this is 0.8 millimeter cord and I'm going to pull off uh, oh, about twice the length of my arm. <laughs> This is a wax cord. I don't. I think I said that already. But I'm gonna double this. I'm gonna double it like this, and then I'm gonna open it up and make a double loop. 
like this. And I'm going to put it on from the broom, from the stick end of the broom. I'm going to move it all the way down here. Start my first stitching line. And these stitching lines will be a little closer together than these than these bands here. Okay, for this process, I'm going to use this big blunt needle. It has a big eye. And I'm going to make a stitching line around it just by taking little bites of the straw and going under it, going over, going under and over, all the way around. Each time I pull through, I tighten it up just a little. I try to keep the line reasonably straight. And I'll go back to the point where I went under it last time just taking small, small bites through each time. Every time I make a stitch, I kind of snug it up a little bit. And like I said, I'm just going over and under. This could make a good Halloween prop or part of a Halloween costume. Besides being just a practical broom. Okay, so I've made it back to the starting point. I'm going to pull it, tighten it up. And what I'm going to do is tie it back off on itself. Like this. We'll just throw a couple overhand loops in it, make a, a double overhand knot like that. And then I'm going to thread my needle back on the loose ends. I'm going to run it all the way through. all the way through the straw. And cut it off. Okay. I'm not sure how many of these I, I'm gonna do, but I'll do it probably at least, I'll probably do two more and I'll get back to you. Okay, I added two more uh, added two more stitching lines here for a total of three with the uh, flat waxed cord. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim I'm going to trim the ends, and then I'll be able to tell better how much to trim off of the the bottom of the broom. So I'm just going to use my sharp folding utility knife. I'm going to start on this 
in first. So now I can tell more about how long I'm going to trim off the ends down here. Okay, so now I'm going to trim it again. The Ismerelda 500 Halloween Racing Broom. <laughs> And the last thing that I will do to this is put a coat of shellac from here to the tip of the broomstick. I'll use a amber shellac. I won't put any from here toward the bottom of the broom. But I'll like uh, it'll give a little color to the broomstick and uh, also it'll help secure uh, all of this where it's tied onto this broom straw and also I'll make sure I coat it good here where on the top right there where where all of uh, where all the straw comes together I'll give it a good coat around there also okay so there you go there's the completed project the Ismerelda 500 racing broom